Hey, what's up, party people? Aerodons is here. I just, first, I want to apologize. I know it's been way too long, but I've had a lot going on, and I know that means nothing to you. But we're back. I'm going to try and keep up a regular basis. And yes, I know, my hair's gone. You probably don't care about that. But anyway, so let's get in. This will be recent pickups video three. I'm really excited to share what I've been gathering with you guys, and I'll try to move along pretty quick. I got quite a bit of stuff since it's been so long. We got a lot of games, we got some accessories, and we got some more manga to talk about. So I will start with the manga because it's only a couple, and then we'll move on to the exciting stuff, which is games. So if you're liking this video, don't forget to like and comment below if you have any of this stuff, have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything. And without further ado, let's get started. So. I'm going to kind of show these in groups just so we can get through them quick, but I've got quite a bit of the manga. So here are 7 through 12, and if you notice something that's really cool about these is that they say East Blue on them because that's the arc that's currently going on. And what's going on in the arc, there's actually mini arcs that can happen, mini segments. And so something I think that's really cool, like on the binders, like even though they both are East Blue, the sa that same major arc, they're all in the East Blue, they are marked differently right here by little circles indicating little mini arcs. But One Piece is still really good. The artwork's amazing. If you haven't checked out the anime you really do if you like action-packed adventures with deep storytelling and I have two more I have 13 through 18 and if you notice these say Baroque works up at the top because it's the next official big arc but if you look got different different little colors as well these are orange and the first two even though they're both in the East blue one was yellow one was blue so I'm really I really really like that they added that to it and like I said it's hard to really overstate these they're great storytelling they're super fun the super super enjoyable story arc so if you like anime or you like action pack adventures with deep storytelling and character development you really should check out one piece really really good and there's good anime adaptations just try and stick away from uh, the four kids production that they they censor it really a lot and it takes away from what the show what the original creator was going to create it to be so on to accessories pretty excited about some of these um, a couple of them are a little damaged because I got a couple of them used especially this first piece I've got the Wii I want to say this is a Wii U might just be a Wii it's a controller your Wii remote fits in there it's a Super Mario themed with Yoshi it does have some bite marks unfortunately but I got a great deal with it it has actually combined with my next couple items off a of lady off Facebook but I just love all things Nintendo and Yoshi's so adorable so I was like heck yeah so we remotes are very expensive especially the custom ones so Nintendo's real proud of their stuff so I was really excited to get the Yoshi themed controller to go with the Yoshi themed Wii steering wheel and I also came, got the Toad version of it so they have one for all the main characters Mario, Luigi, Bowser but they're all they all go for like really expensive 60 70 bucks sealed and it's basically your just your Wii remote with a covering but I really like them. I'd like to get them all at one point, but I don't want to pay a ridiculous amount, so I look for deals. So I got all I got both of these and the steering wheel all at one one go about for a really good deal. All below market price. Now, this may be my favorite item that I'm gonna show you guys today. As you know, or may not know, if you're new to the channel, um, I am a I don't consider myself a PlayStation fanboy, but I play PlayStation more than anything else And you can probably tell by the games here. I play a lot of PlayStation I've just always played it. It's what me and my friends have played So I've always really enjoyed the PlayStation controllers, but I'm and I've always really enjoyed the um, Controllers that have come out, but I've never had one where I wanted to got, get it on release date until now and I got the Alpine green and it is just incredibly gorgeous. I love the green and yellow with the multicolored. It's just so good. My camera can't really do it justice, and I'm sorry about it. But man, it is, it, I'm so excited to break this bad boy, and I still haven't got the chance to use it yet. But man, am I excited about this controller. 
So yeah. Okay, on to games. We'll start with Nintendo Switch. The only Nintendo Switch game I got this week uh, for this show is Octopath Traveler. It's a really cool RPG. It's old school style. Uh, 8 bit, maybe? I'm really bad with stuff like that. But there's eight different uh, stories that all combine into one. I bought it. It's not in here. Like every Switch game I've ever shown, I think. I've always been playing it. I bought it for my trip to Spain. It, I had like. 12 hour flight so I bought it so I could have something to play on the flight and I got pretty far into it and I really enjoy it it's pretty fun uh, pretty interesting story so far alright more Nintendo games Super Mario 3D Land I'm pretty sure it's just kind of a remake not a remake probably should have looked this up actually I don't think it is I think it's a brand new adventure I was gonna say I think it's a remake of the original Super Mario, but I don't think it is now that I'm looking at it, but it is complete, so I'm pretty excited to play through those. Mario is always fun, little platformer, and this is a 3D version. Might be the first 3D version on a handheld. Don't quote me on that. Like, original game for the handheld, I know there's some for, like, ports, like Mario 64 was ported, so I don't know, and before we get into it. I don't think it was ported. I think it was actually remastered for the 3DS. I don't think it was a direct port because I think they improved some stuff. But that's neither here nor there. But I know C Stove's going to call me out on it because we always have this debate. All right, moving on. Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. I'm pretty excited about this. As you guys know, I've been playing a lot of Zelda lately. And this is one Zelda game I haven't found. Uh, I haven't played. It is sealed still. I got it sealed for a pretty good deal. Um, Nintendo Selects are usually 20 bucks. Um, and I think I got it for 15 from a secondhand store. Anyway, uh, I really think it's cool the pun in this name, a link between world, because your main your main antagonist is Link, and you actually travel between two different worlds. So, a link, it uh, link between worlds. It's link in two different worlds, and it's a connection between two worlds. A link between two worlds. Pretty cool. I had a little ah oh! moment when I found that. All right, next up. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I believe this is the sequel to Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube, and I'm pretty excited to play it. I always enjoyed Luigi's Mansion uh, growing up. I never beat it, but I'm a huge Luigi fan, so I, I'm sorry about that glare. I don't know why it's so bad today. Anyway, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the 3DS. Super excited. Another Nintendo Select, and it is sealed. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is sealed. Let's see if I can show you. My camera sucks, sorry. You see the plastic? Yeah, there you go. Boom. Alright, the next group. I got a large group of games next. Borderlands, the game of year edition for the PlayStation 4. This is a... They, it was on PlayStation 3. It was one of the original games. It's not in here because I'm currently playing through it with Sea Stove. By the way, if you guys are liking videos like this and want better quality and better content with a better looking creator check out my buddy C stove C underscore stove like the microwave and oven C stove his name's Corey he's really cool he does a lot of similar stuff anyway Borderlands him and I actually beat this game recently we're going for the platinum we're playing through all the DLC the game of the year edition for the PlayStation 4 they also have an Xbox 360 that works on the Xbox one uh, redone of it and it's just the first game um, beefed up remade remastered Again, here we are again. But it comes with all the DLC. Super fun game. Very graphical style. And Borderlands 3 is coming out soon. So I went ahead and got the Handsome Jack collection. This one is still sealed because I bought it brand new. Because it was a better deal. It comes with Borderlands 2, which is the sequel to Borderlands 1. And the pre-sequel, which is the sequel to Borderlands 2. But is actually set in a time period before Borderlands 1. So I'm pretty excited to play through these games and get the Platinum with my buddy Sisto. A lot of blood and gore and just fun, humorous writing. So they're a lot of fun games. So, the next big bundle, I got the rest of these games. I've got six more games and I bought them all at once from one guy on, on the line. And he gave me a really good deal on them all. Um, some of them I don't know if I'll ever play, but I'm glad to add them to the collection. So, first up, Mortal Kombat X. I played a lot of Mortal Kombat when I was younger just because I was told I couldn't. So I liked sneaking around and be like, no mom, I'm not playing Mortal Kombat, I'm playing Mario. But no, Mortal Kombat's a lot of fun. 
uh, fighting game side to side. I'm not a huge fighter beat em up game, but Mortal Kombat's always got a little place in my heart. I never play them very much, but it's always fun to put it in and beat up your friends. Next, Dark Souls Remastered. So we don't have—I don't have to worry if I'm saying the right remastered, remake, ported, whatever. It says it right here for me. Remaster Dark Souls. I've never been a huge fan of the Dark Souls games just because I'm not a very good gamer. And if you watch my Let's Plays, you probably already know that. But Dark Souls are really difficult and there's not much of a story. And I like a real big story. And so with it, the guy had Dark Souls 2. Scholar of the First Sin. So I'm guessing it's just a direct sequel, or it might be a sequel that's actually a prequel because it's First Sin. So if you guys have played these games and you would like to see me fail, let me know and I might do a let's play of them. Um, but like I said, don't expect anything amazing if I do play through these games on my channel because I'm not very skilled. So it'd just be a bunch of me like, ah, ah, a lot. So Dark Souls, you guys know about those. Um, Dark Souls has kind of spun off its own genre of games games that are difficult like inherently like more difficult than your average game and not just like more difficult than platformers more difficult than just normal games because people really like a difficult challenge and one of those games is neo i think i'm saying that right neo uh but i've, I've been really more interested in this game than the dark souls game because i love the japanese style because you're like a samurai oh no no and you get to fight samurai Japanese shoguns and stuff and oh, excuse me um, it looks really interesting so I'd actually be really interested to try Neo but like I said I probably will suck at it just like I did with Bloodborne I tried Bloodborne and I really suck at Bloodborne but it looks really fun and I really like the gothic theme of it all so Next game is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I've heard this is one of the best games of all time. I've never played any of the Witcher series, but from my understanding, you don't really need a whole lot of understanding of the world or the lore to really just jump into this game and enjoy it. So I'm pretty excited to give this a try. I know it takes a couple hundred hours to play. I'm trying to show you guys the back. So I'm definitely going to give it a try, probably after nursing school. I should get done in nursing school around November. So sorry if you guys are really wanting to watch a Let's Play of this right now. It'll probably be a while because I just don't have that much time to put 150 hours into a game that I'll probably love. So there's that. And the final game is one that I'm pretty excited to play. Call of the Cth Cthulhu? Cthulhu. Call of Cthulhu. I know I'm probably not saying this. I had never heard of this game. And I honestly, it was just part of the deal that this guy gave me. But it looks creepy AF. And it looks like a slow moving kind of action horror game. And me and my buddy Seastover are actually thinking about prolonging it for Halloween to play like a scary game during Halloween. But apparently the Cthulhu is a actual mythological creature. And there's a whole story. I don't want to do a whole lot of investigation into the story like the actual myth or anything but apparently it's like supernatural and it's cosmic horrors dark mysteries and i kind of like that kind of stuff it always interests me so i'm pretty excited to give this a try so be looking out around halloween time because i'll probably be playing this game so that's all of my recent pickups and i try to go through them a little quick so we weren't just like stuck on anything if you have any of these games or have any suggestions or anything along those lines concerning these games hit me up in the comments I'll talk to you guys about it I'll let you know no matter if this video you're seeing this video the day it comes out or a year later I try and be pretty active with you guys because I love talking about video games thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep getting updates on videos like this you guys have a great day you be blessed bye